I require weapons grade pizza to help me get through weapons grade ignorance. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, Rob, Feedback Grinch. I just wanted to talk a little bit. Um, we're going to reach this political moment really quick here where there's going to be a deeper divide politically than what I think we're truly understanding. I did a video search for Prophecy 2021, and this is one of the videos that came up. As for political divisiveness, it is good news that the fascists and the liberals have something in common. We don't want the conservative Biden running the White House. What we don't have in common is the fascists believe that Biden is liberal, and the liberals acknowledge the fact that Biden is conservative. So, let's see what this um, genius has to say. But it's going to come down to this. Will conservative business people, business owners, and professionals hire liberals? Will, as in future tense, Conservatives are already hiring liberals. Liberals are already hiring conservatives. I don't get it. And will liberal business owners and professionals hire conservatives? The answer is yes. What liberals will not hire are fascists. Maybe that is why this person is complaining. On each side. There are hundreds of millions of sides. This is the political spectrum. It is not rigid. It is not either or. I'm still waiting for the prophecy. Where does the line get drawn? Okay, I give up. Why draw a line? Where your political affiliation, if any, and the way you conduct yourself about politics, impact the way your organization ought to hire, fire, or keep you around or not. Why would somebody hire another person who is a fascist? You know, we saw it a little bit over the last four years where people wearing MAGA hats, the red Trump hats, were starting to like have their voices silenced a little No. A little bit, but basically it was like, don't wear the hat, right? Don't wear the hat. Don't wear the shirt. We don't like the shirt. We think it's hate speech, right? Uh, no. I have never seen anybody say to the fascist, don't wear the MAGA hat. I'm still waiting for the prophecy. I don't know how I could have an employee that believes in collectivism. Collectivism would be fascist. It would not be liberal. It would not be progressive. Liberals and progressives do not believe in collectivism. The fascists do. That doesn't understand supply and demand economics and how demand side economics actually creates nothing and that destroying incentives. It is a demonstrable fact that supply side economics does not work. To it, tax money that everybody is getting taxed for, being given to the fabulously wealthy, would somehow magically improve the economy and improve individuals' economic status. No. Supply-side supply side economics has never worked. We have seen for over 40 years that it does not work. But demand-side economics does. When you have supply-side economics, you then have to persuade people to buy whatever is being sold. And that is the only reason why advertising exists. With demand-side economics, only what is demanded is produced. And 
will be sold because there's a demand. Don't even need advertising. People want it. People need it. They will buy it. Like the incent... The, <laughs> there's two opposing viewpoints here, guys. No. There are hundreds of millions of viewpoints on this, guys. One says that if you make money off of the labor of others, that you're evil. Uh, no. And that you're the evil capitalist. And the other one says, wait a minute, I want to create jobs and hire you. No, the other one says, if you give tax money to the fabulously wealthy, everybody is better off. This is, of course, false. If you want to create jobs, you fill demands. You do not go out there and make something and then try to convince people that they should buy your product. Demand side economics is the only way economics and capitalism works. They take a percentage of my income from me using the state at threat of gunpoint. Not only that, they say the more successful I am, the higher that percentage should be. Increasing percentages is mind-boggling. Why? How dare people use public infrastructure that the public pays to make a profit and being forced to pay for some of that infrastructure? How dare the state do that? Why? Everybody knows that if you just don't pay taxes, everything will be fine. The roads will still get paved. The sewer will still be flushed, taken out, trash taken out. Everybody is just going to do that for free. Because the way percentages work is the more you make, the more you pay. Uh, no. If that were true, there would be no poor people because poor people work their bloody asses off six days a week from sunup till past sundown. For example, New Mexico. Poor people are creating almost all of the wealth and they are still below the poverty level. It is not about work. The more you work, the more you pay. Wrong. The more profit you see and accumulate, the more you pay. This is called fairness. But I don't think it would work. Now, I have clients that are Democrats, but most of my clients are conservative people. So are most Democrats. I guess I'm just bringing this up because... He brings it up because he's a moron. Meanwhile, I have yet to hear this prophecy that the guy claimed he was going to do. I mean, that's the title of his video. Where's the prophecy? Good luck. God bless everybody. Um, hopefully this is helpful. Huh? Did everybody sneeze? Meanwhile, no prophecy in this clown's video. He's just somehow forgot, maybe? Maybe he's admitting that a prophecy doesn't actually exist, perhaps? <sighs> I have no clue at all what this idiotic moron had as his goal. There are no prophecies in his video. <sighs>